And now to Greece, where that country's debt crisis may be nearing a resolution. Later tonight, Parliament is expected to vote on a reform package that Greece's leadership submitted last night, one that is much closer to what its creditors are looking for. Michelle Caruso Cabrera reports from Athens. The new Greek finance minister, Euclid Sakaloto, stood before the Greek parliament today and told the members to support the bailout proposal he gave to creditors late last night. It is nearly identical to the proposal his boss, Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, told voters to reject less than a week ago in a controversial referendum. The new proposal includes billions in tax hikes and pension cuts. The parliament is expected to vote yes, leading to another round of protests from no voters tonight. Still, the business community is relieved. After two weeks without a working banking system, the Greek economy has pretty much ground to a halt. The CEO of Greece's largest electronic retail chain says the climate needs to improve fast. I have to admit that this is the worst crisis I have seen. And he's seen a lot. Electroniki retail chain is 60 years old, started by his father. When this crisis started, he says sales fell to practically zero. Then, Greeks, fearing a departure from the euro, went on a panic buying binge to convert their euros into hard assets. If there is an uncertainty of tomorrow, they prefer to have value in the house, in the house instead of having money that they cannot know if this money can have the buying power like before. Even if Greece's creditors accept this proposal and they get a deal done over the weekend, a huge amount of damage has been inflicted on businesses both large and small. Antonis Sisalis is a jewelry wholesaler, servicing hundreds of shops across Greece. Despite the crisis, he still has lots of demand because it's high tourist season. But with the banks closed, there is little cash in the financial system. We don't have cash from our customers, so we cannot take pure gold to make and producing. But the electronic banking system is working. Why can't yes, you use that? Yes, but the people of the, the sell gold, they want it. Cash by hand, not by bank. Angeliki Spanu was publisher of a small free weekly newspaper. In January of this year, she was getting 50,000 euros worth of advertising every week. A month ago, that fell to 30,000. Last week, zero. Because the private sector is very much pressed from the condition in the banks, uh, nobody pays nobody. She shut down the newspaper. 15 freelance writers will be receiving one less check per week. For Nightly Business Report, Michelle Caruso Cabrera, Athens.